Right, I'm, I'm here at the end of, of eight years activism because um, this is the place where I began um, getting interested in, in the diabolical proposal which um, Shell had for the place and uh, that hasn't changed since and neither unfortunately um, has Shell. Whereas Shell have always had other options, other methodologies which may have cost a little bit more, they chose not to um, use them. So therefore we are damned if we are going to um, adopt the, the crappy lie down attitude which is expected of us, in other words not say anything, not do anything. You have this horrible patronising patter. Uh, of course the protesters are entitled to protest but as long as they keep out of everybody's way and are entirely ineffective then they can protest the way to their heart's content. When protest becomes effective that's when we join a different club where nasties and thugs and uh, lulas and whatever but we know we're not. There's other shell for that matter. So um, what has, has brought me to this is that because Glengad and Broadhaven Bay and so Father Con is such a special place. It is worth fighting for and if necessary it's worth dying for. And when the solitaire came in, and that was my response to her, I'm I'm in in physical terms and the rest no match for the solitaire, but this is what I could do and what I, I am doing. So that's where it stands at the moment. The government, you see, really is between a rock and a hard place because of their uselessness and their their cravenness and lack of any type of integrity or, or decency. They're between the rock and the hard place of shell and shell to see, really. And that's not being um that's not being facetious or ultimatious. It, the government doesn't count in this because they operate, they will do whatever the lot they're most frightened of or most intimidated by tell them to. So obviously as of yet they are more frightened of Shell than they are of Shell to see, which may be another one of their many mistakes because Shell come and go and Shell would walk away from here in the morning if it became too hot in the kitchen for them media wise without a backward glance and you could have ministers and petty cosgroves and councillors weeping and wailing and gnashing their teeth and Shell wouldn't give two Highland Dems. I was out in a boat going around the bay the other day with um, a Green councillor and he was saying he was in, you know, talking to Eamon Ryan and all this kind of... He was mentioning that the reason why they can't and this has been bandied around a lot. The reason that they can't or that the government is afraid to stop the project is because they keep throwing around this figure of 500 million. The government's going to be sued 500 million if it doesn't go ahead. But surely... 500 million? Mm -hmm. Well, you see, the government should um, learn how to play hardball. There is no country on earth that has played hardball with Shell that Shell haven't backed down on. It's happened in Ecuador. I think they were the first to break ranks with their um, other corporate friends. In Sakhalin, I mean Putin, <coughs> whatever else people may think about, can certainly put the boots in and play hardball with Shell. And he made bits of them. Very juiceful. And they seeded. They had a majority stake in Sakhalin, a massive, massive field. Goss, in fact, just at the same time as ourselves back in the 90s when Russia was an oligarchy. But of course things have changed there. Unfortunately, they haven't changed here. We still have been a bloody fall and limp lettuces of greens. But that is it may, it is the will, the political will to change things. The fiscal terms were set in the 1992 Finance Act. They can just as easily be changed and obviously the concept of resource nationalism doesn't apply in this country 
but it certainly applies in, in most other countries. So 500 million or billion? Million. 500 million. So what they've spent 500 million on PPAs, on, on uh, computers, on storage for e-voting machines. <sighs> so what? I didn't think it was a huge sum considering the, res the reserves. There were reserves of at least 500 billion. Well, they, they corrected me when I said how much the reserves were and a woman said no, um, it's th 13 billion. Oh, that's the, the value of Corrup. Mm -hmm. But the potential mm -hmm. um, guessable reserves out there were put in on the department's own, um, by their own consultant's report. So it's the end of last year, 450 billion then. So with the rise in oil since, anything between eight and 900 billion. So total 500 million. And let's do it right. Mm. They gained that beachhead, and that is it. That's their that's their gateway to billions.